Hi guys, it's Azim again. In this video tutorial, we are going to update our views of uh, bookstore application. So let's get start. Let's close all. And first we are going to update this uh, index view. And let's give some bootstrap classes. BTN btn link and let's give it class as well btn we are going to create book so we will call it btn btn success and let's show some icon before this book Let's uh, go to this. And by the way, this create book button doesn't require here because we have already this button right there. So I'm going to remove this entirely. Let's go to our index page, sorry, layout page, and let's show book icon here. book and let me copy this and let's create a plus sign here plus let's refresh it now let's update this create book view create let's remove this submit button Let's create a button here and type of this would be submit. Let's uh, write class btn, btn success and let's give this text create book and we will create icon here for this book. class plus and let's give classes to these input fields to give this class we can pass extra parameter here class and let's uh, give it uh, form control bootstrap class let me copy this let's paste it here again so our create book page looking nice let's create one book let's uh, go to this page and now let's update this uh, show book view again we are going to provide some classes to this button but you can do anything you want to do here i'm just giving you some examples so btn btn primary uh, this will give us a blue button uh, btn btn danger we can delete this book and it will delete this book we can edit our book now let me copy code from our create from our create view Let's go back to our edit view and let's paste it here. 
and let's uh, edit book and I'm going to remove this primary now let's refresh it and it's working but here is a little problem let me show you uh, pay attention to, to this section and this section as you guys can see that these four lines are same in this edit and create page so we are repeating our code we can create partial view and we will call that view right here and we will call that view right here and in that partial view we will place this code so effectively place this code in one place and we will call that uh, code uh, in this class and sorry in this view and in this view so let me show you how we can do this you can create it wherever you want but it's best practice to create partial folder in views folder let's create partials folder in this partials folder let's create play template again this is best practice to start the name of your partial view with underscore and after that uh, the actual name of your partial view for example let's call it books form fields Now let me copy this code from here to our partial view. Right. Now it cannot recognize this book form. So we have to pass this book form from edit page. Let me copy this. Let's go back. And now we are passing book form to our partial view. And here we can remove this just like this and we can call this uh, partial view underscore book form fields and we will pass our book form in this book form as you guys can see that it cannot recognize it that's because we have to import this view at top so let's do it import it's in views dot html dot partials books form Now let's go to our edit page and it's working and we are making use of uh, code reusability with the help of uh, this uh, simple partial view. In the next video tutorial uh, what we are going to do is let me show you if we uh, type for example 67 and create this book it will create this book with empty title price and author name so in the next video tutorial we are going to implement some validation so that uh, we can validate our model before saving into our database so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching